Fire in a hole, let's cook some ribs. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard. What I got going on here today is, I've got a rack of spare ribs. We're gonna prep this up and I'm gonna skewer it up and put it on my Weber rotisserie. Now what brought this all about was I was watching uh, YouTube the other day, as I sometimes do, and I was watching Scott over at the Real Show Barbecue and he's got a, uh, a kind of a dedicated rotisserie that will cook ribs in a kind of a vertical spinning thing where the uh, heat rising causes the thing to spin. And you'll just have to go over there and see Scott at the Real Show. I'll put a link in the description for Scott's channel and you can go check him out. So anyway, I was looking at it, I'm thinking, I wonder if I could do that on the Weber rotisserie. So then I started doing some research and I found that uh, Daryl over at Bad Beast Barbecue had done it before. So I thought, wow, that's great. I'm gonna try it. A couple of advantages of doing it this way is the ribs cook faster because you're not actually smoking them, you're grilling them. And I normally I grill ribs in a three to one method, three hours in the smoke, two hours wrapped and an hour sauced. Today we're gonna skewer them up and get them spinning on the rotisserie. And uh, I understand it's only gonna take like uh, to, uh, an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm gonna take some, uh, this is a green bastard rub that the green bastard sent me. And uh, you can't buy this. You have to just be friends with the green bastard. He might send you some if he likes you. I guess he likes me, because he sent me some. <laughs> GB, what up, mofo? I'll tell you, GB is a character. He's crazy dude. Uh, you gotta, I'll put a link in the description also for GB's channel. You gotta go check him out. So now you got three channels to look at. You got the, the Bad Beast, the Real Show, and the Green Bastard. So anyway, we're gonna rub this with the Green Bastard rub and let that sit on there a while. It's gonna, that's gonna bring a beautiful color to those ribs. I can see that right now. Don't that look good? Now let me get the other side wrapped. I've already got the membrane off the, the bone side and I'm gonna skewer that up for the rotisserie and uh, let me get that spinning and I'll show you what that looks like. So stay tuned. My ribs are spinning on the rotisserie. I've got GB's Green Bastard rub on there and some Sang stir fry oil to hold the rub. There's nothing left to do but wait. Wait about, an, about 20 minutes and then we're gonna come back and baste them. And I'll show you what we're gonna baste them with. So stay tuned. My ribs have been spinning for about 30 minutes and I'm already getting good pullback on the bone. But what I want to do now is, I want to mop them with this. This is Carolina Q Eastern North Carolina vinegar sauce. And a nice guy named Doug gave me all three of his sauces to try. And I'm going to use this as a mopping sauce. Now up in uh, Eastern North Carolina, they use this as a barbecue sauce. But I'm going to do it, I'm going to mop these ribs with the sauce. But I've got his other two sauces here too. And I, as I met mentioned, uh, I'm cooking a chicken on the pit barrel and we're going to try out all three sauces today. But I'm going to use the, this one for a mop sauce for these ribs. I'm just going to mop it on there. It's very thin and that's the way they like it I guess up in eastern North Carolina. I'm just going to mop that on there. Oh boy. These are looking great already. It's only been 30 minutes. I can't wait to try these ribs out. I can't believe that we're going to be able to cook ribs in less than six hours. So we're gonna mop it with this glaze, this uh, Eastern North Carolina mopping sauce. And this stuff would be excellent for uh, a pork butt, is what really I think it mostly would be for. But I'm using it on these ribs today. We're also gonna dip it, dip it. And we're gonna dip the other two. I got some chicken on, like I said, on the pit barrel. I'm going to dip that chicken and these ribs in that uh, sauces. Doug's, Doug Morgan sent me these sauces and I want to give some away. Uh, maybe next week I'll give away some Doug Morgan's uh, Carolina Q barbecue sauce. Not this week. Next week, okay? Tune in next week and we'll give away some barbecue sauce. Let me get done mopping these. Keeping these moist. They're looking excellent, I've got to tell you. 
I'm very happy with it. Okay. All right. Let me get them uh, finished up. We'll take a taste. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got all three of Doug's barbecue sauces out here, but first things first, there's the Frosty Root Boy mug, and here's today's beer. This is Funky Buddha Vibin, a groovable lager. That's very strange. Funky Buddha making a lager. Let's see if we can get the glass and the shot and pour out some of this lager from Funky Buddha. How bad could it be? Well, it's a yellow, pale yellow looking lager. Got a bit of head, not much. Funky Buddha, crisp, refreshing, groovy. Vibin. Funky Buddha, vibin. Anyway, let's take a sniff of that. Lhasa, what do you think? Smells good. Tastes even better. Lhasa, I went and drank it without asking you. Let's take a quaff of that. I already did. Let's do it again. It's good. It's very good. That's a good lager. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Maybe some kind of close-up. You know how I like to I like to do a close-up of my beer. Come on, baby. Now let's just get down here. Let's just get down and dirty with it. Move this over here. Yeah, the lights are all wrong for today. Never mind. I don't even feel like here, how's that? Funky Buddha vibin'. All right, let's get that out of the way. There we go. All right, now let me get my sauces out here. I've got the Carolina Q Sweet Hickory. I've got the Carolina Q Mustard Sauce. And I've got some of the Carolina Q uh, Vinegar Sauce. We're gonna pour some in a, in a plate here. Some of that. Can you see all this? Let me back out. Okay, yeah. So we're going to put some Carolina Q mustard sauce over here to dip that. It's a beautiful color, isn't it? Beautiful colored sauce. That's the uh, vinegar sauce. And here's the Carolina Sweet, you know, this has got a bit of heat to it. He didn't warn me about that. I put this on uh, those burnt ends last week and I, I caught a little bit of heat from it. So let's do a taste test right here. Let me get some chicken. They cut some chicken right off the white meat of the chicken. My chicken's beautiful. You know, you can't beat the pit barrel for chicken, I'll tell you. Oh man, that's hot. Woo. All right, let's dip some chicken in this. Now I tasted this and it's really good. Oh yeah. Like I said, it's got a little bit of a kick to it. Very good. Very delicious. Let's take a rib. Now no smoke ring on the ribs but good pullback on the bone and tender ribs. We're gonna hit that with some of that mustard sauce. Take a taste of that. Look at the bite on that rib. Perfect bite. That mustard sauce rocks too. Okay, let's keep going. Let me get some more chicken. Ah, nice piece of white meat chicken. We'll dip it in that Carolina Q vinegar sauce. Oh wow, that's really good. Predominantly taste of vinegar. Hence the name, vinegar sauce. Let's take a rib and slather it up in there. Oh yeah. Another perfect bite. There you go. 
rib in an hour, chicken on a pit barrel, whoops, can't beat it, and I tasted all three of Doug's uh, barbecue sauces. Come back next week and I'll give a set of these away to somebody, some lucky person. Let me try another piece of chicken with that mustard sauce on it. That stuff's really good. Look at the color of that. Mm. Excellent. Super. Anyway, that's my video, babies. Ribs on the rotisserie, chicken in the pit barrel, and all three of Carolina Q's sauces. A nice taste test for you. I think my favorite is the mustard. I was very surprised by the heat in the hickory. It's got a bit of a kick to it. The vinegar sauce is great, a great mopping sauce, but I don't know about using it for a barbecue sauce. I don't know if I'm down with that. Maybe because I'm not from there. Yeah, I think my favorite is the mustard sauce. Anyway, that's my video. You know what I always say, if you like this crap, please subscribe. Let me get a drink. Ah, uh, down in the description, I've got uh, three channels for you to check out, and uh, got Bad Beast, uh, Green Bastard, and uh, What's New Barbecue, I think is the name of it, Scott's channel, the one who, he did the rotisserie, I hope that's the name of it, I, I'm drawing a blank right now. Anyway, I'll also put an iCard for another new channel. Haven't decided yet who. You'll find out when you see the iCard. Anyway, yeah, that's my video. Come back next week. I don't know what we're going to cook, but we're going to give away three bottles of this sauce to one lucky subscriber who leaves me a comment on next week's video, gives me a thumbs up on next week's video, and be a subscriber for next week, and you'll have a chance to win some barbecue sauce. Okay, babies? All right then, we may not cook anything good, but we will drink a beer. Rock on.